<sighs> Hello, and welcome to our canon. Today we're going to play to, to talk with Blue Lizard. Uh, so we are on mission to convince Mr. Blue Lizard to uh, free this bratty elf who hates me. In order to convince him, you need to have persuasion uh, 12. Full trillion ranks, we of course don't have it because imagine investing points anywhere. So, we're going to pop drugs because when you are on drugs, people listen to you more likely. <laughs> what is it, warm blood? What do you want of me? Are you sure I can't convince you that war is not the way? <laughs> How, Amy? I respect your words, and I see the truth in them. But how can you deny the evil of what has been done to me and my people? Do you disagree that the price must be paid? Why I took this voice for him? No, but not all must pay the price. Let us discuss about the elves. Let us speak of this. The snake and the lizard are both of the snake fathers. Both her life in reptilian dream. Men and the earth are also the same of the warm blood. And therefore live by the same code. The elves have their own code different from that of men. What do you mean? Are you not smooth skin like men? Hunt with weapon and wear clothes and speak fancy words? They seem to me the very same. No. You said, elves have words of power, uh, most men do not. Yes, we also have this word, say. These powers are old powers, tied to the waters and the land. I see that the elves have these powers, and yet they are warm blood. This is because they too are tied to the land. I see. There is power in your words as well, Amy. Perhaps you are correct about these elves. But what of men? Why should conquer a war against them? Should not, fuck. Tell me about the cold blood, what it is like. We beat of one hair team, we share the same knowledge, the same desires. We look into my eyes, is to look into the very eyes of snake fathers. Do you understand? We are many, but we are one. Men are different, with different heads, sadly, some are, some are dark. Ah, you say the warm blood's heart is alone, and beats alone. I can see why elves might be good, but men evil. But how some men, good and other evil, is the blood that flow in your veins not the same blood? Do you not dream the same dream? That is important difference. Men heard make the dream. Interesting, Amy. So these poachers, as you call them, they dream and they <laughs> <evil> dream. <laughs> and so they kill our people. But how I am to know that most men are not like them. That you are alone in your dream. If that were so, why would let one like me survive? 
No nature is hard teacher ever among the Bedokan. If there is one who does not hear the snake fathers or see the cold visions, then he is cast out or destroyed. I would think that it is the same among warm boots. It is. Men are evil, but many more are good. Perhaps then it is only the this poacher that Khan Kerai must take war against. If most men are like you, Amy, then perhaps the warm blood ways are good ways. I thank you for showing me this. I'm grateful. And the elf, he will go free? Yes, he is free to return to home. Make sure to speak with him before you leave, and tell him he may leave. I will make amend myself uh, and send gift to the elves in the forest. You have made peace between us, Amy. Glad to be of service. Tell me, Amy, why have you come to the strange lands? You are not of the forest elves. Nor you are of the dark fans. What it is that bring you to, to, to use? It's a long tale. I know not of money in outside of the dark fans, but the Bedokan are warriors and we love this land. As no other, I offer the strength of my people. If you desire it, in the village there is a one named Varama, speak with him, and if he so desires, you might take him on your quest. He's brave and know the words of power. I will speak with him. Good day to you, Khan Krai. Good luck to you, Amy. Might the snake fathers guide your path.